In today's episode, you will learn how to make an overload monitoring system using ACS712 current sensor. This is the second part of the SCADA application based grid station parameters monitoring system. While the first part was based on AC voltage monitoring system, in which we successfully monitored the normal voltage, over voltage, and under voltage. The link is given in the description. So far, we can monitor the voltage and load on our SCADA application. If we increase the voltage above a predefined value, it will provide automatic disconnection. As you can see, the LD is turned off. While during the normal voltage, the LD remains on. Now, if I decrease the voltage below a certain predefined value, it will provide automatic disconnection and the LED will be turned off. At the end, we will connect a relay with pin number 13 of the Arduino so that in case of over voltage or under voltage, the supply can be disconnected to protect our appliances from any damage. As you can see, currently the load status is normal, as only one bulb is connected. If I connect another bulb, the load will be increased. And now you can see on the screen the load status is overload. The load value can be set in the programming as per your requirements. In this tutorial, we will cover number one, ACS712 current sensor pinouts. Number two, complete circuit diagram. Number three, interfacing. Number four, programming. And finally, number five, testing. Let's get started. The components that we will be needing for this project are number one, Arduino or Mega. Number two, ACS712 current sensor. Number 3. Male to female type jumper wires. Number 4. One channel relay module. Number 5. Connection wires. Number 6. A pair of 220 volt AC bulbs and holders. And finally, number 7. A plug. These components can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the ACS712 current sensor. As you can see, it has three male headers labeled as VCC, Out and Ground. VCC will be connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The Out pin will be connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1 and the Ground will be connected with the Arduino's Ground, while the AC wires will be connected over here. This is the complete circuit diagram of the overload monitoring system. This schematic is designed in Ketsoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make schematics and PCBs, then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. This is the ACS712 current sensor. The VCC is connected with the Arduino's 5 volt. The ground is connected with the Arduino's ground. And the out is connected with the Arduino's analog pin A1. This current sensor is connected in series. The relay is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. This relay provides the disconnection when load is increased. For the relay driver circuit design calculations, watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description.
Cut any of the two wires and connect the current sensor in series. Now let's fix the current sensor Arduino and relay module on hardboard. Now it's ready for the interfacing. Connect red jumper wire with the VCC of the current sensor. Connect yellow wire with the out pin of the sensor and finally connect white wire with the ground. Now connect red wire with 5 volt, white wire with the ground and yellow wire with the analog pin A1. Connect the relay module with pin number 13 and connect the blue wire which is the ground wire with the Arduino's ground. This is the complete program of the overload monitoring system. This code can be downloaded from my blog page. The link is given in the description. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Currently only one bulb is connected which is a normal load as per the programming is it's a normal load that's why the relay is turned off but as i connect another bulb the load will exceed the predefined value and the relay will turn on i hope you like today's episode like and share this video with your friends See you in next episode and thanks for watching.